The Spanish judge who indicted Chilean dictator Augusto Pinochet and has gone after Al-Qaeda, ETA terrorists and organized crime, found himself on the other side of the bench on Tuesday. Baltasar Garzón testified today in Spain's Supreme Court on charges of knowingly overstepping his bounds when ordering wiretaps in a corruption case linked to the ruling People's Party government in Valencia. The phone taps were on suspects in preventative prison and some of the conversations were with the defendant's lawyers. Dressed in his judge's gown in court, Garzón defended his actions, saying that the suspects were using their lawyers to continue their illegal activities. If convicted, the 56-year-old Garzón would be banned from sitting on the bench for 17 years. Spanish prosecutors have asked that the case be thrown out, but private prosecution is allowed in Spanish law. Outside the courthouse, supporters of the judge said that the justice system is going after the investigators instead of the actual criminals. Others said that Garzón was targeted because he tried to investigate the crimes of the Franco regime that ruled Spain between 1939 and 1975. Next week, Garzón will face another trial for opening an investigation into the more than 100,000 Spaniards who were forcefully disappeared by Franco's forces. It was once a taboo subject in Spain, but efforts to locate mass graves have grown over the past decade. For Garzón, the case might be the end of his career.